Hey Life Connection, it's Evan here. As some of you may already know, I really enjoy Halo. I like the gameplay, I like the forge modes, the custom games, and I'm a huge fan of the lore. So much so that I subject the other Live Connection members to conversations about Halo almost all the time. I'm essentially a self-proclaimed expert, but don't let that fool you. I've read maybe two books and most of my lore that I have in my head is based off of YouTube videos I've seen from Halo Follower and Hidden Xperia. But anyways, in our podcast, we have a lot of conversations, and I always really want to talk about Halo. My problem is, I never know what about Halo I actually want to talk about. I've already explained most of the lore to the boys, but they probably have forgotten most of it by now. But I'm not just going to rattle off more lore. So I sat down and started putting some ideas to paper, and what came out was essentially how much I hate Halo 5. And the sad thing about it is I don't even hate the game for the campaign. I hate it for its marketing campaign. I know a lot of YouTubers have covered this subject already, but I just wanted to take my hat off and throw it in the cesspool of ideas that are out there. So let's start from the beginning. Back in the spring of 2015, I believe, a trailer dropped for Halo 5. It's not the first trailer, but it was one of the trailers for the game. Now this commercial, this damn commercial promised a climatic conflict between Locke and Chief. And it's a great commercial too. I was left hanging on the edge of my seat. So I start watching this thing and Chief is sitting there on the ground about to be executed and I had a million questions running through my head. Like how did they get to this point? Like what happened? Why is he on the ground? Is Chief really going to die executed this way? What, what battle took place? Is this Earth? Then I find this other trailer where the script is flipped and all of a sudden the Spartan, Spartan Locke, is on the ground and Chief is the one with the gun to his head. Then this raises a bunch of other questions like, is Chief the bad guy? Like, why would he be executing another Spartan? What is the scenario here? And there's implications like maybe our choices throughout the game change what the actual plot's going to be, like Mass Effect. Regardless of the questions I had, the trailers promised an epic battle between two Spartans that we are given absolutely no context for. And of course, our minds are going to start racing and we're going to get excited for the game. This is what you want out of a game like Halo. I don't know many people who pop in a brand new Halo disc for the first time and play the multiplayer. No. We jump right into that campaign because we want to consume every ounce of that story. And then you start playing the game and you quickly start to realize that this story might not be exactly what we were promised. The big story beat where Master Chief goes AWOL occurs because he just kind of wanders away during his mission to follow Cortana. Hey, uh, there Chief, it's the UNSC calling. We just noticed that you happened to wander off there. Just wanted to let you know that's in violation of code 465612 subsection 2. Penalty for such action is apparently to be hunted down by an elite group of Spartans and brought to death. So that can't be good. So uh, please come back if you want to. Uh, actually, I kind of think. Have you ever seen that movie, John Wick 3? Uh, I mean, I haven't. I, I was just wondering if you have. I've seen the commercials. Looks pretty good. I uh, hope, hope you're John Wick in this case. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, have a good one. Okay, so now Chief has a target on his back. And okay, well, maybe they can redeem this piss poor reasoning for his rogue status from a climatic battle that we see in the commercials. Well, spoiler alert. It doesn't. A and let's review this right now. We are promised this. The one who was supposed to save us all. But now I must save us from you. And we get this. <laughs> and again, two super soldiers who are ready to execute each other, preaching like they're the prophet of truth, and two frat boys fighting over the last slice of pizza in the refrigerator. Whose idea was this to make this commercial if they knew the game wasn't going to be like that. I have heard some theories such as the act man who did a deep dive into this marketing subject. He said that maybe 343 Studios had a different story planned out. When the marketing was done, 
Microsoft came in, changed a bunch of things, and then they just never changed the marketing after. Now this could be likely, but I don't know why it occurred. And all I know is this. <laughs> this is the moment where I said to myself, well, okay, this game is poo. I know there are a lot of redeeming qualities about this game, like the multiplayer, probably one of the best in the series. Gun sounds are cool. I liked how they brought in Blue Team and they expanded on the lore. But these blatant lies was something I could not get over. Honestly, it wasn't even the entire marketing campaign that ruined the game for me. It was just this commercial. For example, there were two other commercials that came out for Halo 5. In one of the commercials, it shows the UNSC making a public announcement that the Chief is dead. This makes sense even with the context of the game, because if your beacon of hope went AWOL, you would rather announce that he is dead rather than telling the truth. The UNSC can be pretty shady like that, of course with Oni pulling the strings behind the scenes, so I think this makes sense. The second commercial, which never appears in the game as well, I actually give a pass to. The trailer shows Chief, who's cloaked, almost like he's trying to hide his identity, and is searched to find Cortana, which leads him to a guardian. Technically, you could say it loosely occurs in the game because in the first act it shows Chief finding a guardian with Blue Team, but that's not the reason why I give it a pass. I like this commercial because of a theory which I believe originated by a YouTuber named Game Forest. In the video, Game Forest shows with absolutely no dialogue that Chief's helmet is broken in the trailer the exact same way that it was broken in the fight with Locke. So essentially, the theory is that this commercial is not actually a Halo 5 commercial, but a Halo Infinite commercial. I'll link the video by Game Forest in the description so you can check it out yourself. And maybe I'll even talk about this theory in another video now that I've released my Halo 5 hatred demons. So anyways, to summarize my thoughts so I can let you be free into the world, the Halo 5 campaign was ruined for me because of one commercial that lied to us. Thank you for watching my video and be sure to like and subscribe if you like the content that you watched here today. I appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.